Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast project. So let's get cracking. Friends, there has been an addition to Tinkercad. Let me show it to you real quick. We're going to make something called a fast jet. Now, we are going to build the jet with a cylinder. We're going to bring it out and we're going to drop it right here. Now, make sure you've got the front corner and you can find that rotation handle and right there is your adjustment. So it used to be this number up on the top, the zero, was really close to this handle and you couldn't grab it. Now you can see we can grab it easily. They also show us that there is a 22 and a half degree rotation and if you pull it outside there's a ring to show it goes one degree at a time. I want to lay this exactly flat so I'm going to go 90 degrees. I do also want to show you that if we hold shift it goes 45 degrees Bam, there is the fuselage of your jet. Stretch it out to whatever length you want for your jet. I'm gonna make mine 100. Notice if we click on the edge, we can type the number, and just like that, we've got a sweet jet fuselage. Now I wanna add a front to it. You can use the cone. You could also use the paraboloid. Another cool feature that was added last year is cruising, where when we bring out a shape, if we hold the mouse button, we can set it right where we want. This is what I call the live work plane. It only exists until we click, which is fine for this step. I'm going to select these two shapes right now and choose a line. Make sure I look at it from a corner because I want that middle and I also want the middle up and down. I don't want the middle that way and I'll show it to you from this corner because it'd be silly to have the front of my aircraft in the middle. Friends, let's try out that new rotation again, but with a different shape. This time we're going to search for one called the NASA, N-A-C-A. It is a swept NASA. When you find it, I recommend hitting the little star. That way it'll be a favorite, which is easier to find later. Friends, we're going to simply drag this out and let's use that rotation again. I'm going to look at it from a corner and I want to rotate it 90 degrees. So I'm staying inside the circle. There's 90. Then I'm going to grab this one right here, once again staying inside the circle or even holding shift, and it's only two clicks to get the 90. You could adjust these parameters, but sometimes you get artifacts. I'm just going to simply stretch this little guy out, make it look just the way I want. I think that's pretty cool. Then I'm going to move it close to the airplane so I know that I like it. Adjust it just a little more. And then real quickly, I'm going to hide the fuselage. And I'm going to make a second one of these friends. There is a duplicate button, which is control D. There is also something called the work plane. W is for work plane. I want to put the work plane right on that shape. And then I want to flip this, check out the mirror tool, bing, and then hit D for drop. And that edge will come all the way out there to that work plane we just set down. I'm going to put the work plane back out here. And we're going to select those two and do Control G to group them or use this group button. Now we can hit show all to bring back our airplane fuselage. That's pretty darn awesome. We're going to do Control D and we're going to do shift nudge. Look how fast it moves back there. And then we're going to also hold down alt and shift and watch this it scales both sides at once so we can make our horizontal stabilizer so fast now i'm going to manually stretch that to get it to the exact size i think is cool of course i could also do that alt shift stretch if i wanted to adjust it afterwards i'm going to raise it up a little higher with control up I'm trying to share all kinds of shortcuts real fast while we also master that new rotation tool. Now we need a vertical stabilizer and remember a moment ago I mentioned favorites. Because I have clicked that star and I'm going to set it on the work plane, now I'm going to do my shift rotate to get it so it's straight with the aircraft. Friends, this time we're going to do something called shift select. So two shapes are selected. We're going to choose a line, which is the letter L. We want the fuselage to be the master. We want the middle in this direction. And then we also want it to come to the top. Now it still didn't go high enough. So what we're going to do is click on it and do control up until it gets the height we want. I'm going to hit F to fit view so we can check that out a little closer. Obviously we need to push it forward. I'm also going to push in the horizontal stabilizer further. 
Let's click home and check it out from every angle. Friends, that is fun and fast. I do want to show you quickly how to do colors. You can get this to be the exact style that you want. Pick anything that you want. You can also check this out. Go into custom and just move it to the exact spot you think is cool. Adjust and make it look absolutely epic. I'm going to add one more out here. Let's put a funky green. And then finally, we need a place for the pilot to sit. We're going to do that by going back to basic shapes and we're going to bring out the half sphere. Now, because this isn't flat, we're going to set it on the ground. Once again, let's do that shift select. L for a line. Fuselage is the boss and we want it to be in the center. You'll see it kind of poking down below. I'm going to do control up to get it up to the top. And then we're going to simply stretch it with the black handles to get it the exact way we want. I'm going to make it a little more thin, a little shorter. Real quickly, let's do one last select, choose a line, and make sure everything is centered on that fuselage. Notice somehow I nudged and I broke my wings somewhere in the project. Put it back. Final trick is I want you to hit T for transparent, so now you can actually see inside the canopy. Isn't that awesome? Friends, I'm going to click on this fuselage and change the sides to be more smooth. And I'm going to call this one complete. I just wanted you to see that new rotation tool and make a fun project. We'll wrap it up by changing the background color to something cool. How about a custom sky color? Move that up into here. And then I'm also going to shut off the grid because I think it looks cooler. When we close settings, there is our Wicked Aircraft. Don't forget, you can share this with the world by simply clicking back on your Tinkercad button. From this desktop workspace, click up here on the properties. Give it a fun name. And of course, if you want, give it a description. Mine says there's a tutorial coming soon. Now, of course, you'll also find ways to reach me. And then when you give it tags, don't forget, if you give it the tag HLMT23 and press enter, I search that tag almost every day. And of course, I'll give you a reaction. Finally, go down here and make it public. Of course, prove you're not a robot. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because I want you to come up here, follow that tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Friends, as I wrap up, I just want to remind you there are a ton of skills in there. I taught you all sorts of shortcuts. Hopefully those are starting to stick and you're having fun designing in Tinkercad. Friends, I want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you will find my day one favorites, useful starters, and then also Tinkercad essentials. Friends, I do also want to mention the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach out to me almost instantly. I also want to take a moment to highlight the Tinkercad community discord. As you can see friends we have more than 700 members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything tinkercad finally friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech Thanks for watching. Have a great day.